it's like an adrenaline rush that you can't get. In my opinion, mm. when St Andrews is packed out, and I'm sure other clubs will say the same, you know, when their home crowd is full and packed out, but we're Blues fans, so when we're in St Andrews and it's packed, packed to the rafters, the atmosphere's rocking, yeah. and we score a goal, and you see the limbs in the Tilton, there is nothing that can beat that feeling. It is absolutely wild, isn't it? It really is, it really is something yeah. special. So welcome back to Small Heath Alliance FC. And there's no doubt there's a real big buzz at the moment around Birmingham City Football Club. You know, the first day the season tickets went live for renewal and the early bird prices got released, we sold 4,000 season tickets alone. So in this video, we're going to talk a little bit about why we think there's a buzz around the club, why Blues fans are returning in such huge numbers and why we should get so excited uh, for the season ahead. So let's get into it. And Dad, what are your thoughts on the season tickets and are you excited for the season coming up? Absolutely. It, it's a great time to be a Birmingham City supporter, which sounds so weird, the fact that we're starting <laughs> in League One. But it is so exciting. I think as well that, that most Birmingham City supporters are coming back to Blues for a number of reasons. Now, you mentioned that in the first day of sale, 4,000 season tickets were sold, just in the first day. But 52% of those were of people who were not current season ticket holders. Mm -hmm. And from what I've been reading, people are, are saying that they're coming back because they... Firstly, they didn't want to invest in the previous owners. And secondly, they can see what's happening at this club. So I think the, the you could use the term actions speak louder than words. Because a lot of a lot of owners could come into a club and say, We're gonna do this and we're gonna do that. And we want we've got a vision to get us to the Premier League. But these owners are actually doing it, you know. We can see all the money and investment they put in. We know that they bought the wheel site for the future. We know all about the stadium plans, which we which which are rightly so at the moment. We put on the little back burner from Blues fans. It's not spoken about very much at the moment, which I think is the right because mm -hmm. we want to focus on building team getting ourselves out of League One so to me the first thing and the first reason that the Blues fans are flocking back to buying season tickets and will support the club is because of, of the owners and that's credit to Tom Wagner Gary Cook and the rest of the team well you can actually physically feel and see the level of investment that they're making can't you and yeah. you know we talk about the 15 million which has been invested this season Let's talk about the money they invested last season. They completely redone the seats in the paddock. Uh, there was all different fan zones made. You know, everything was improved. Well, sorry, they did as much as they can to improve that match day experience. Fireworks. For, yeah, <laughs> exactly, and the fireworks and, the, uh, yeah. and, and that, that heat in the winter when they, those flames go up. It's a really nice heat. Oh, that was uh, nice. It's yeah. a really nice heat on you, isn't it, in the yeah. tilted corner because we get that really nice line there. Mm -hmm. um, but you, know, you can see the difference, the sponsorship deals with uh, undefeated, you know, the training ground, giving all the youth players their first professional contracts. All these amazing things which are going on behind the scenes. Blues fans can see that. Blues fans can feel that. And I agree, that's one of the big reasons why big numbers are flocking back to this club. And i got a question, actually, for the next point. And do you think the appointment of Chris Davis has also had a big impact uh, on it? Without a doubt. I, I think, uh, you know, there were a lot of uh, names banded around before Chris Davis was appointed. And... It was always, oh, you know, 50% of the fan base would, would have positive comments about the names mentioned and the other 50% wouldn't like them. And and it was really divided. And I think ha appointing one of those managers would have uh, had a lot of fans thinking, oh, here we go again, or blah, blah, blah. But this appointment has been absolutely, it's been a masterstroke, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. Because um, I don't know many Blues fans that are not happy with the appointment of Chris Davis. We wanted a fresh start, and the only way we could have a really fresh start is to get a fresh manager. Yeah, of course. So, so I, I think, yeah, that's another reason why the Blues fans are flocking back. They're excited to see what Chris Davis yeah. is going to be able to do with our uh, squad. Because I spoke previously, didn't I, Dad, about the roots of Birmingham City and the ethics of the club and the way we play football. And we've always been a hard-working, we will out-battle every team to get three points. Just, just historically, over the years, Blues yeah. have been that kind of club. Whereas I feel under Chris Davis, that's going to change. And I referenced a silly reference in the previous bit about Rocky changing his fighting style. Mm -hmm. But I genuinely feel like when we come back to St Andrews and the away games, we're going to see a completely different Birmingham City. Genuinely, we're going to see front-footed, attacking, fast-paced, dynamic. We're going to suffocate teams and the fact he's got the backing of Knighthead now in this summer transfer market to build the squad you know we've had one transfer come through the door at the moment um, Ryan Alsop and he's already ticking that box for Chris Davies of you know progressive uh, good with the ball at his feet all these sorts of things so I think yes I agree Chris Davies had a massive impact and the style of football he's going to bring to Birmingham City is also going to attract even bigger numbers as yeah. the season goes on yeah, I think so as well. And I think as well, by buying a season ticket, you obviously you're guaranteeing your seat, aren't you? Because if Birmingham City start, you know, as we hope, you know, to be near the top of the table and start actually winning games, mm -hmm. um, 
the, the potential for, for matches to be sold out significantly increases. But if you've got yourself a season ticket, you've already got your seat guaranteed, haven't you? So I think that's having a, um, a positive effect uh, um, uh, yeah. as well. I think, And I think as well, the Blues fans can see what's happening and want to be part of this. Because there's nothing like a uh, a stadium, you know, St Andrews and Nighthead Park Stadium, where oh. where the crowd is bouncing and buzzing. I mean, mm. we had we had we had some glimpses of that last season at certain games in a poor season. Yeah. Sunderland, in particular, you know, yeah. it was it was amazing. Uh, the, the Preston game was pretty Norwich good as, as well. well. Rocking. Norwich, yeah, they're, all, they're yeah. absolutely rocking. We really got behind them at the back end of that season, and yeah. it's addictive. It, it, it's like an adrenaline rush that you can't get. In my opinion, yeah. when St Andrews is packed out, and I'm sure other clubs will say the same, you know, when their home crowd is full and packed out, but we're Blues fans, so when we're in St Andrews and it's packed, packed to the rafters, the atmosphere's rocking yeah. and we score a goal and you see the limbs in the Tilton, there is nothing that can beat that feeling. It is absolutely wild, isn't it? It really is, it really is something yeah. special. Yeah, it is, and uh, you know, and we were hoping for much more times like that. And again, that's another reason why I believe that the uh, Blues fans are, you know, buying season tickets is because they want more of that as well. Yeah, yeah it's a good point. Mm. I love this club, and mm. and me and you that have had some brilliant times down the Blues. I remember Ipswich at home in the cup where we won oh, a few years ago. We, we, yeah, 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 but like yeah, yeah. all those times, the, the the year we got promoted to the Premier League, you know, mm. the, those home games, the midnight, uh, sorry, the midweek home games in the Premier midnight. League. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you not going to them. Um, so look, we've got such wonderful memories, and I feel like where we are now, we're starting from the bottom. I feel like this is the the lowest we've been in thirty years. So the only trajectory we're going to be on is up. Yeah. We, we want to be a part of that movement. BHSL are now gone. That is history. We've got positive momentum. We've got money behind us. We've got good, solid owners, and I think people are going to invest in the club buy shirts, buy season tickets because they feel the pendulum swing. And and we're on, I, I, I know we hated it last season, Birmingham City on the rise again. It was the cringiest. You know, we were going down the table and, <laughs> oh, and no. that, that announcement got more. It was bizarre. Oh, no. yeah. um, but I, I genuinely feel we are a club on the rise again and I think the Blues fans can feel that. I think so. I think as well the owners at certain times and Gary Cook in particular got a lot of stick obviously for various reasons and we don't want to go into that in this video. That's all been dealt with and done. But I think uh, they're now, from what I'm reading in social media, a lot of fans are starting to appreciate what the owners are actually doing what Gary Cook is actually doing because he's behind a lot of the um, you know things that are going on in developing sponsorships and developing the club because he is the CEO isn't he so uh, mm. you know we, we have to give him some credit as well um, and I think the fans now are, are really I think they just want to be they want to be part of the journey want to be part of the journey and maybe that's a good tagline for Birmingham City be part of the journey yeah, because, not on the rise again be part of the journey be part, yeah, of, the, be agree, part yeah. of the journey because we we are now you know like you said I think we have reached that bottom point now and I think you know from now onwards it is going to be an upward tra trajectory and we hope it will be a quick trajectory but we don't know And uh, but we, we can see that the owners are trying their best to put everything in place to get us back into the championship and beyond as well. So mm -hmm. not just settling for promotion to the championship. They want us yeah. to uh, go beyond that as well. Yeah. Uh, um, and my final reason, because we've listed quite a few there for for why um, Birmingham City supporters are flocking back to season. And this is a really simple stripped back it's because we have a, an excellent fan base. And a, we've been hurting for the past 12, 13 years, but we've shown that when, when the circumstances are right, we will show up in numbers and we will get behind our team. And I'm, I know we're biased, but Birmingham City supporters, I think we've got the best fan base in the world. And uh, we're loyal, we're hardworking, and, and the club's hardworking, and that's the moral, that's the spirit of the club. And the fact that the Blues fans are flocking back. I mean, that support and loyalty has always been there. I think people just haven't wanted to give BHSL their money. And rightly so. They yeah. they, they, they trod us into the ground. Yeah. And now that has gone, the, the swamp is slowly, yeah. surely being drained. We have a fantastic club, a fantastic fan base. We can feel it and they're coming back in their numbers. I, I think you're right, Matt. A, a, lot of, a lot of people made that decision. While those owners were in place, they weren't going to spend an Me and you were close. To, 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 you know, it, it, it's a difficult one because you don't want to... It almost feels like you're just throwing your money down the toilet, doesn't it? But then you love your football club, and it's this really horrible it's middle just, ground to be it's in. It's a dilemma, isn't it? It's between a rock and a yeah. hard place. I mean, I, I, I respect the people that uh, have the principle not to spend money to because they don't want to invest or, or give money to the previous owners. Um, but, of course, then the other side of that, it does hurt the club. But then maybe it needed that to happen to get these owners in mm. place, and we have them now as yeah. well. And, fair, and by the way, just on that note, and I'm not putting any Blues fans on a pedestal here above everyone else. We're all in the same boat. We all love this club but fair play to the fans who have gone home and away for the past 13 years. I mean, that is some accolade because it has been miserable. So yeah. to, to follow this club on the road for that amount of time is truly impressive. And they, you know, we all deserve it. But, you know, people who have 
genuinely not stop supporting this club for that time. They deserve, I think, these good times which are on the horizon. Oh, Matt, we, we went to the vast majority of away games last season and we had two victories that we oh, saw. I think we, we missed the one at Cardiff because no. it was a midweek we game. We were mid work, really. working. But we went. We were at uh, Bristol, Bristol City at the start of the season. I mean, Bristol City was right at the beginning of the season. We thought yeah. we were going to win the league. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In fact, in the, uh, in, in the uh, I think by the bar, everyone was going, Manchester City, we're coming for you. That was the song we were singing. Yeah, yeah. Just after Koji uh, scored that screamer. I mean, that... What a great away day that was, though. That was probably my one, one of my highlights of last year. Of course, we didn't have yeah. many on the road, but uh, yeah. that was and, great. And, and now it's Exeter City. You were going yeah. to be, but that's football, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, so I think as well, you know, um, one, one final point for me as well is I think that uh, Blues fans as well would be buying season tickets on the promise of having a good team to watch as well. Mm. You know, there's, we have to, you know, the, the the type and style of play that Chris Davies has said that he's going to play is very, very attractive. And if he can put that out on the pitch, I think that it's going to be a much more enjoyable yeah. um, spectacle for us because it's been it's been like pulling teeth watching the team over the years, hasn't it, Matt? Over the last few years, it's been it's been absolutely awful. And yeah. and um, this now oh. this this promise of a better squad, better style of play, I think is very encouraging, and I think a lot mm. of people want to see that as well. I mean, over the past uh, certain amount of years, we've just been a club who have played better out of possession and on the back foot and then catching more teams on the back. And there's no shame in that. It's not a bad strategy to have it works in football. But as a fan, when you're at home, it's miserable to watch, isn't it? You know, you're just waiting for that one one or two attacks that you might go forward and score a goal. And it's been it's been that, hasn't it? For for quite some time, just that back footed, sitting back style of football. Whereas, you know, Chris Davis has got a lot to prove, to be fair. I mean, he's coming in, he's talking a big game. We haven't seen any moments of football yet. So there is a little bit of pressure there, I guess, but I think he will achieve it, especially with the summer break now where he can get some transfers in to play the style of football he wants. But I'm so excited to get down there and see and see what the lads have been doing over the summer and uh, see that sort of, as you say, intense, attacking, exciting style of football. Yeah, 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 me too. And I think there's plenty of reasons why uh, fans are, are coming back, isn't it, you know, to for these season tickets? Because uh, I don't know how many season tickets we sold last year. Was it something like 11 or 12? Something like, in that ballpark, uh, yeah. I can't remember, but, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure yeah. I'm pretty sure we're going to, um, you know, well, I'd, well exceed that. I'd love to get to, like, 18-20. That, yeah. that would be brilliant. I'd stick but... my neck out and say we will do that. Do you think, 18-20? Yeah, I, I, I think so, yeah. And I think, I think uh, as well, uh, the more we sell, the more fans who haven't got season tickets will think they will need to get one otherwise they might miss out on, on, missing out. on certain games so it's it's a bit of a thing but I also understand as well that they, they, they are a pricey purchase yeah. even though compared to other teams they do represent good value if you buy over yeah. the 23 games that you're yeah. paying for uh, and also as well the club have got incentives haven't they for um, uh, families uh, in the Arthur stand and uh, you know there's various um, you know um, things that they're trying to do to make them or make the yeah. game as accessible as as, as possible. Yeah. You you watch all this hype, all this excitement. Crawley will come to St Andrews' first game and turn us over four 0 <laughs> don't, don't, don't say that. <laughs> that, that yeah. Wouldn't that be typical Blues? No, no. no I think I'm I... just I'm just joking. But um, no, you know, I think there is a lot of expectation this summer. You know, Knighthead have invested a lot of money. Chris Davies is a progressive manager. There's going to be a lot of transfers coming through the door. So no matter what happens, with, even with the season tickets being sold, Blues fans flocking back. There's a lot of pressure to uh, play a new style of football down Birmingham City and to give the fans something exciting to hold on to and look forward to as we move forward. But it's still exciting times regardless. Yeah, let's, let's be honest, Matt, next season, right, it ain't going to be smooth riding because, no. uh, you know, um, we are going to have periods during the season where we are going to, you know, maybe out of form or, or have injuries or suspensions and stuff. like. I mean, look at Leicester. I went flying last season in the Championship, didn't they? And they hit a sticky patch, yeah. uh, a, a sticky patch and they still end up getting promoted in the end. But yeah. but no, no team goes in any division and actually completely wins every game or, yeah. or dominates also, it really that's a really good point and valid point is that even uh, Leeds and Southampton they got off to a really slow start when the championship started so actually Blues might get off to a slower start than we might think but I'm not going to press the panic button we'll be fine it's almost like a sorry excuse me an adaption to the league because we've not played League One football, you know, third third tier football for quite some time. So it is more physical down there, a lot more long balls, a lot more parking the bus. So there's just going to be an, an, an adaptation period for us. Um, I hope we come flying out the gates, and I hope we, uh, we 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 make we start the season with intent and we make a few statements in those first couple of games. That will go a long way. Um, but strapping because I think it's going to be a 
uh, a good old entertaining season for sure. I do, and, and you know, and obviously the, the purpose of this video was to see, discuss why people are buying season tickets. And I think if people do buy season tickets, I think they're going to be in for a, a much better season than we've been used to. Yes, we're in League One, we're in a league lower. Uh, but we'll, uh, we'll actually win some games. <laughs> yeah, well, well, we hope so. We hope we're going to win a lot more games. And and also as well, you know, the 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 vision for the future is is starting now. So if you want to get on board with that, really, getting a season ticket is a great, uh, a great thing to do. And the fan experience is going to be completely different. New screens, new audio system, new bar in the cup, new fan zones, new catering. All these things for the match day experience are going to go a long way. You're going to feel it when you go down to St Andrews next season that it's going to be a completely different match day experience. And the first thing I'm doing, I'm going to the toilet and I'm pressing the hot tap bar. <laughs> and, I, and I'm really hoping some hot water okay, comes well, out of it. The first thing I'm doing is I'm going to go to the bar. <laughs> yeah, you, get, then, you get the beers uh, and I'll check the hot water. Yeah, that's it, yeah. 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 So, so exciting times and uh, you know, I'm glad we got our season tickets. We, 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 we would anyway to be honest because obviously we supported the Blues for yeah, yeah. Uh, many many years now uh, but it's nice to see lots of new uh, people buying season tickets and it's really great to uh, see the way that the fans are now yeah. sort of getting behind the owners and supporting the club yeah couldn't agree more mm. and uh, as always Blues fans we'd love to hear from you what are your thoughts on the new season tickets have you got yours are you intending to get yours uh, uh, was there a different reason than what that what me and dad listed as to why you got your season ticket please let us know in the comments below we love hearing those comments and getting around to those responses as quickly as we can and if you like the video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to check us out on our social media channels and our X channel and our Instagram channel are popping up on the screen right now and as, of course if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel please press that big red subscribe button so you don't miss any future content and me and dad will see you on the next video all about Birmingham City.